You know, sometimes a man's got to do what a uh, man's got to do. <laughs> I should have been an actor. <laughs> I'd be washing dishes. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell... Um, well, we're going to take you along to a, on a project that may not seem all that exciting, but it may be interesting. Um, we'll see how it turns out. But So a little while ago, I built my first foundry furnace. And um, like most foundry furnaces, it's showing its wear. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of, I, I looked at a lot of videos on YouTube when I was going to build mine. And I saw a lot of guys making them out of, you know, plaster of Paris and sand and different kinds of cement and things. And. Um, I kept seeing them. I mean, the walls were caving in, and everything was just the lids were falling apart, disintegrating. I thought I'm going to do something different. I want to try to make mine out of fire brick, and I'm glad I did because the fire brick that I use, it's holding up great. Now, that said, I did some stupid stuff. I know, believe it, or, <laughs> believe it or not, I did some stupid stuff. Um, let me see if I can find. Here it is. So I used two different, yeah, I used two different things when I um, built my furnace. Uh, first thing I did is I used this stuff. Um, it is called a, how about if I do it this way in English, it's refractory mortar and um, it is sort of a light brown color. Um, in fact, it looks an awful lot like this when it's uh, uh, when it's dry. It also does this really easily. It doesn't hold up, at least the way I made it. I now I I mixed perlite, vermiculite, perlite. It wasn't vermiculite. It was perlite. I mixed that in there trying to give it a little more volume and to try to give it a little more air inside so just to, just to be able to insulate better. That stuff's not holding up. No bueno. I also used this stuff, where is the lid? There it is, when I was uh, making the lid and it looks like, <laughs> it looks like this. When it's uh, when it's all cured, it um, this has actually held up really well, um, despite the fact that it's broken. It's held up really well, and I think the reason it's well, and I'll show you why it's broken. So let's uh, anyway. The lid needs to be redone. Bottom line, I got to redo my lid. It's falling apart, and I also want to clean up the inside of my um, my furnace a little bit. Get rid of some of this this stuff that's in there. Um, so let me take you into the furnace. And I'll show you what I got going, show you what happened, talk about a little bit why it it's not like it's not as good as it should. And we're gonna make a new lid tonight. So let's get it. Let me uh, yeah, let me move the camera. Alright, so here is my here's my furnace, my poor furnace. Uh, after a lot of heats. Uh, I, I probably have heated I probably melted 20 to 30 times in this furnace, and it's held up. I think it's held up pretty darn well, considering. Um, so let me show you the lid first. The lid is actually two layers. It's that refractory mortar um, on the bottom here, and then it's the refractory the castable uh, fire brick on the top. Now, I didn't have a lot of material, and you can see how, when I poured this thing, I poured it, it was really pretty thin. That's only maybe three-eighths of an inch or so. Um, and I also, I broke it because I, when I cast, when I poured it the first time, I forgot to put a hole in the center. So then I tried to cut a hole with a hole saw and then ended up breaking it and I had a crack. So it was broken from day one. And then I had this um, mortar. And so I thought, well, I'll finish pouring it with that. And that is actually not done too terrible, terrible bad. Um, but it could be a whole lot better. So... We're going to take this off of here, here's the bottom side, 
See, it's held up. Where, where are you? There it is right there. It's held up okay. Uh, it's got a couple of cracks in it. And it's, and the problem is it's, it's like flaking off. So every time, I, every time I put the thing in there, I end up getting junk wanting to fall into my crucible. And it's just, it's just no good. So we're going to take all the stuff out of here. I'll take it over to my uh, bench here and we'll, we'll clean it out. And I'll show you what we're going to do next. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to show you something else too. So here you can see the fire brick on this side here. And it's held up really, really well. But then this is that mortar that I put in. And it is separating it off from the sides like that. So I'm going to clean all of this stuff out of here. And I think I'm just going to go with fire brick unless I have enough of that castable. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go with fire brick. Unless I have enough of this castable fire brick to maybe put a thin lining on here. Uh, I'm not really sure yet if I'm going to do that because I'm a little afraid that if I have different I have layers in here and one's heating up more than the other or, or expanding, contracting more than the other, I'm just going to end up with, with separation. And I think um, there's a distinct possibility that will happen. Look at that gold. Right, this stuff is uh, <laughs> coming out of here. That's a lot of work. I, I mean, I am toiling to get this stuff out of here. <laughs> there it is. It's cleaned out. All right. So you'll notice that this has got a, um, hey, you can't notice that. There's a shape here. This was the top of a, of a paint can. And so there is a, there is a ridge that runs the length, the, the full diameter of this thing. I actually thought about putting some screws through here, just in here to give it, um, I don't know, give it something else to hang on to, but that worked out really well. So I may just, we just may go with that and just call that good. So I'm going to take a wire brush, clean this out of here a little bit, clean this off, and we'll mix up our stuff and pour it. Okay, the label says that I can get a 12 inch by 12 inch square that's an inch and an eighth thick. My ring is 11 inches in diameter. Um, Looks like I'm leaking water, <laughs> and uh, an inch, about an inch and a half. So I'm thinking I've got I've got enough of this stuff, but it's going to take um, the bulk of it to to do. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just start with most of it. Now then, it says not to get it on your skin. Oops, I think we got too much water. And maybe mixing it all. And praying that we don't have way too much water. Way too much water. All right. Good thing this stuff is expensive. Okay, what I've done is I've laid a tarp down on my tabletop so I don't get things stuck to my table. This is going to be my center, right there, and I'm just going to pour, pour this in here. I have to put some weight on that. And I'm going to mix up the rest, I guess, because I want that right to the top. There it is. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow, and hopefully all this water will be gone, and... Uh, I'll be a happy guy, and I won't be regretting what I just did. All right, come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, well, it is actually, it's a week later now, um, and <laughs> I gotta show you what I'm dealing with here. I, I kinda made a mess. I, 
let me uh, let me back the camera up, and I'm gonna just kind of give you a a, pre a little look. <laughs> it's a mess. Okay, so there's the <laughs> there's the lid I poured last weekend. It actually, I'll take you over in a minute and show you. It's looking a lot better um, than when I first poured it. And then I'll take you over here, and there's the uh, furnace. And let me uh, hit the <laughs> stuff everywhere. Doesn't this look good? <laughs> the lid is actually looking really pretty good. So this is the this is the bottom side. This would be the top side. It's uh, yeah, you can see there was a lot of water in there, but um, I think it's come together pretty well. It feels solid in there. I don't have any cracks. I've let it dry really slow. Um, it's been a week, as I said. So I noticed a bunch of air in here. Oh, we'll see how that turns out, but. Clearly, I got to get this spot cleaned up uh, and get that straightened out. But I think that's going to be a good lid. Let me show you this. Can you see all that? <laughs> I've been pulling the stuff out of the bottom of my furnace, and uh, I got a mess to clean up there. I wanted to show you something that's kind of cool, and I don't know what this means. Um, but uh, this is what I've been pulling out of the bottom of my furnace. Where's my camera? There it is. Let's see if we can't get you to focus in. Focus. That's the magic word. You always tell the camera to focus so it'll focus. <laughs> see that? I don't think that that's metal per se that's come out of my crucible or anything like that. I think this is just sort of a glass almost that's formed in the mortar. This is this is the refractory mortar that I line my furnace with. This is all over the bottom and the bottom has still got some of this stuff in there. I got to get it broken out uh, so I can get a nice flat bottom. But that, I think that's uh, that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure exactly what it is but I've got a lot of that stuff going on. Um, now let me show you this. I couldn't get the burner out so I ended up having to cut the cut it in half so I could get the the burner out, but this was a uh, uh, you know a steel flange, a uh, or flange. It was a flare. Uh, I think it's it's one inch to inch and a half or inch and a quarter. I had I better go find that out. I got to get a new one of these. Um, but anyway, this thing is just. Let me try that word again. Focus. Look, it works every time. It's amazing. Um, Anyway, that's what uh, that's what my uh, my flare has done over time. So we're going to replace this. This is a couple bucks, not a big deal. So here's what I'm going to do today. I got to finish getting this thing cleaned out of here. Uh, it's almost done. I've got. Let me just show you. I've got most of it out of there. So this is all just the um, the fire brick that I originally lined the thing with. There's still this is the this is my refractory mortar and you know it just it hasn't held up. I wasn't didn't, didn't think I was gonna get to work on this today but magically I got some more refractory I sorry I got some more castable fire brick. Yeah that's stuff that you can't read the label on anymore. Castable fire brick. I'm going to once I get finished get this thing cleaned out of here I'm gonna put a layer of that in the bottom and just kind of level it all out. I'm also going to put a layer of it right around the ridge here so I have a nice um, nice surface to mate that lid up with and I think we'll have uh, the furnace will be rebuilt. I'll be pretty happy. And we can start melting stuff again. So let me get uh, clean it up and I'll take you to the next step. Okay we got um, I got just about everything cleaned out of there now. Hey, there's, there's a little bit in the bottom still of the real refractory uh, mortar but it's down there pretty hard, so I'm not going to sweat it. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to mix up some more of the castable fire brick, pour a layer of that in the bottom, let it level, kind of self-level itself, and um, we'll let that happen. And then I'm going to put um, a lip of it around here that will come up as high as this, uh, the top of the can, so I have a nice flat surface again for the, uh, the lid to adhere to. So last time I mixed that stuff up, I mixed it up way too wet. I'll probably do the same thing again this time. <laughs> okay, I'm say goodbye to my hand because I'm sure this stuff is caustic. 
and it's uh, you know going to burn a hole through me in a minute here. But I'm just going to go ahead and try to get get a layer of this on top. One of the things I don't do is cement work because <laughs> I am awful at it. It's one of those things where I don't know. It seems simple in concept, but uh, in practice, man. Like I should probably have a form on the inside here and doing something like that to keep it from falling in there. This is why I did the top first because I wanted to be able to let it fall if I needed to and not worry about the, the bottom getting uh, screwed up with lumps of stuff. We'll go ahead and pour a bottom in there over the top of all that and it'll all be awesome. makes just a little bit more to pour in the bottom and we'll be good. All right, well here it is. Uh, we're just gonna let it set up now. I, I knocked the edges in there and of course they all fell right down to the bottom. <laughs> it's exactly like I knew they would. But um, we're okay because the bottom's already kinda, it's already firmed up quite a bit. So they're just gonna lay on there. I can brush them off when I'm done. All right, well here it is. It is pretty dry. It's Tuesday today so it's been Half day Saturday, all day Sunday, all day Monday, most of the day. It's Tuesday evening about 7 o'clock p.m. So three, three and a half days of, um, of drying. I'm going to go ahead and call this pretty good at this point, And we're going to put some, we're going to put it back together and put some heat on it. So first thing I want to do, I'll put my lid back on here. See how cool this is? Look at this. Step on the pedal. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I went ahead and rebuilt my uh, burner. If you can see this, this is what it looked like. It kind of melted. <laughs> Couldn't get it out of the hole. I got the got the new parts, put them back in. Uh, so I can just slide this back in here. And See if I can't see what's going on. So, can you see that? Yeah. There's where my burner comes in. It doesn't come in, it probably should have come in a little bit steeper angle. It does come off to the side of the crucible, but yeah, it's not perfect. Anyway, this looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to heat it up heat it up. I'm going to warm it up. I'm just going to barely turn the gas on. How does that sound? Let's just see what this does. Get a little heat in there. I'm going to shut it off. That's all I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to kind of gently warm it up just like that. And uh, we'll just take our time and get it heated up. We'll be able to use it. Today's Tuesday. I should be melting stuff by Saturday. There you go. I mean, I mean this thing lasted like five and a half months. I, I, checked, out my, I checked my videos. And um, end of October is when I did my first firing. So we had November, December, January, February, March, half of April. Five and a half months before I had to do a re rebuild. So if you're wondering how long a furnace will last, I can tell you that mine lasted five and a half months before I had to do this. I'm hoping this one will last a lot longer. Uh, I think it looks better. I think there's some better stuff about it, and I think it'll hold up better now. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I may have to build it again. I don't know. Uh, I was told that I would be not this, that this would not be my first furnace, and it, clearly it wasn't. So let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and link over here. I'm going to link right up on the top there the a playlist showing how I built the original thing. So if you're interested in seeing the construction of this original thing, I'll go ahead and put that up here. And then, as always, I'm going to put that play here, the subscribe button. Subscribe button right there. So you guys have a great day.